Welcome to this reflection. Wherever there is jealousy and ambition, you will also find discord and all that is evil, James tells us in the third chapter of his letter. Saint Ignatius Loyola came to see that his desires for honor and for power and success left him feeling discord. He was restless and empty, and slowly he becomes aware that in the midst of his own discord, God is inviting him to something new. God is inviting him to conversion. Ignatius learns a new wisdom and recognizes, as James tells us, that he has been living from his own false wisdom. St. James tells us today that wisdom, which comes from above, is pure and peace-loving. St. Ignatius, like so many before him and after him, who have answered the call to conversion, discover this. When they say yes to God, their discord is calmed. They experience a wisdom from above, and the deep disposition of their hearts is peace-loving. We will find that too. When we are pursuing a worldly wisdom, we will see that our hearts are in discord and they are restless. There will be layers of bitterness and jealousy and ambition. It is precisely, as James points out, when we notice these that we are also invited to change, to conversion. St. Ignatius saw this in his own heart. He responded to God's invitation to conversion. And the impetuous and restless Ignatius becomes a person of wisdom, showing understanding and listens to advice. He becomes a man full of compassion and good works. He becomes a man who sows peace and reaps a harvest of justice, as James says. And God invites us to explore the root of the discord in our own hearts. It is often in and through that discord that we discover what needs conversion, where we need to change. Is there bitterness and jealousy and ambition lurking in your heart that causes you to feel restless? Or what earthly wisdom do you subscribe to that leaves you feeling dissatisfied? Ask God for the grace to adopt the wisdom from above. Let's pray. Lord God, grant me the grace to see the layers in my own heart. Help me to let go of those that are rooted in worldly wisdom, which leave me restless and dissatisfied. I want to embrace your wisdom, the wisdom that comes from above. Amen. May God bless you.